everybody has had both that downtime actions. Sweet. And it's, uh, we're still plenty of time left. What, uh, yeah, do you guys want to go after the hive? Uh, seems like a cool. Yeah. Or do you want to uh, do something else? I mean, you all, it's entire, whatever mm. you do next is entirely up to you. I mean, I, I think we should definitely, like, come up with a plan to deal with the hive. Like, the hive, what, what level are they? They're oh, pretty wow. high level, right? Three. Mm -hmm. Three. Now, I'm going to give you a suggestion that mechanically makes sense, but it would be up to you to make it fictionally make sense, if that makes sense. <laughs> I think I should say it makes sense one more time. Uh, it makes sense, don't you, worry. <laughs> if you try for some turf, and you say this turf belongs to the hive, that will be killing two birds with one stone. <laughs> so you are in, like, let me move you guys over to the map real quick. You are, your bridge is literally in Silkshore. And Silkshore is the area that the hive operates out of, for the most part. So, <clears throat> um, basically, if you were to, um, yeah, they have many shops, taverns, cafes, warehouses, and other mercantile establishments all across the city. They have no centralized HQ. But they definitely have places of business in Silkshore. If you want to tell me that cafe on the other side of this bridge belongs to the hive and that you want to take it over, that can be a way to gain turf and extend a little bit outside of the bridge and also be an attack against the hive. Okay. That would be enough to let you level your tier because uh, it would give you one turf and three rep which would fill up your little track and then you'd go from having a weak hold to having a firm hold and be in a better position and eventually be able to get your gang to be larger i mean that, that sounds nice and i already have a fictional idea for that cool mm -hmm. tell me about it is we're, we're, you know, if we want to increase our reputation, we should do something that fits us, right? Hmm. So, I say that we make the place haunted so nobody wants to get in. Sounds great to I me. Like that. that sounds like an occult plan. So, <laughs> we'll, by, so the, the question, though, is if you make it haunted so no one wants to go there, will you be able to claim that area for your gang, or will no one, including your gang, want to go there? Uh, I mean, obviously, you know, we, we would know how to deal with, with whatever, you know, is haunting it afterwards. We're mm. much more experienced so with it than a bunch of, you know, traders that are just used to, you know, their fancy Okay, so food the plan and... is to haunt it, get everyone else to clear out, then come in claim the place, clear the haunting, and say that you own it now. Yeah, I mean, then we have a reason to say that we own it, right? We cleared the haunting, mm -hmm. so now mm -hmm. it's ours. We, I like we did it. the work. Yeah, yeah, yeah. okay. <laughs> and, you know, it, it might still have an, an, a bit of an airy aura of, of hauntedness afterwards, but, you know, that that's yeah. just to be expected. But that just <laughs> broke's aura. Yeah. <laughs> I mean, uh, you guys have a reputation of a of the gang of being uh, freaky and uh, strange. Weird, but so, um, strange. Yeah, yeah. Strange and freaky. So, yeah, yeah. I like this idea. Um, so this sounds like it's an occult plan because you're trying to induce a haunting. Uh, how do you how do you induce a haunting somewhere? How does that look? Uh, I, I I think hmm. it's. Uh, uh, Farouk would I mean, just like wander the streets nearby and, and uh, uh, you know, speaking to uh, uh, you know any entities that are uh, in the vicinity and sort of in invite them to this uh, this uh, wonderful place he's found that uh, he thinks they'll be very comfortable in. Um, 
and and uh, you know, essentially that. I mean, I I don't know if it's uh, as realistic or or simple, but I've always wanted to go outside of the shield, and I imagine that there's creatures there that could haunt the place. Or we could do that. <laughs> What if uh, Farouk uh, studies a bit before and uh, finds out what attracts these entities and such? So we have a better, you know, uh, grasp on how to I go mean, about you can, it. You can tell me what attracts these entities and that you, you know, are bringing it with you. That can. Mm -hmm. Oh no! Cat dropped my water. <laughs> Come back, cat. She scared herself when she knocked the bottle over. <laughs> <sighs> it's fine. It's fine. Yeah. It's it's always well. I won't say amusing, but it, it's uh, uh, interesting when a cat does something obnoxious, causing something to knock uh, to be knocked over, and then is panicked by the sound of the thing being knocked over. <laughs> I know, right? And she just nuzzled my computer. Good job. Um, yeah. So, so we we can we can just jump into this action. Like, how where where is everyone when you guys start this haunting? And how do you what what? Uh, let's see. With a occult plan. Well, okay. So, are we going to full on go to the uh, outside the border and try and bring something in? Uh, or... I mean, I prefer that because it sounds more dangerous, and you know that's what land would do. But <laughs> I'm up for something else as well. That sounds fun. Uh, okay. Uh... <laughs> okay. So this may be a linked plan in that case, like an occult plan to go get the ghost, and then a transport plan to bring it into the city and release it at the cafe. <laughs> yeah, I mean, I, I think that uh, Farouk's reaction, you know, first reaction would be, well, that's not practical. But, <laughs> wait. <laughs> but then you're, you're but going we, to... But Farouk, we could get something really exotic. Something that would really, you know, spice up the flavor of Dainia. Not just any ghost, but, you know, the ghost. Well, okay. Uh, I'd be willing to go uh, outside to look for something special. Uh, but uh, once it is uh, installed in our new turf, uh, I, I think it'd be uh, wasteful to simply then try and dismiss it. We, we should just uh, learn to live with it. I, I, I'm sure Daunia would be pleased. Yes. If we oh, if we entities under her protection. Um, yeah. So... How, uh, yeah, how, how does this, uh, as the, 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 let me reset my brain here. Alrighty. <laughs> so I can effectively GM. Uh, so, yes, yeah, so you guys are going outside of the city, collecting ghosts? <laughs> I mean, it doesn't have to be a ghost, something that can haunt. Something that can haunt. You're not too picky. How are you planning on transporting it back to the city? That is the tricky I mean, part. I guess we can figure that out in a flashback. Um, yeah. We can as put a trail of candies to the cafe. As an occult plan, the detail you need to provide is the occult powers you're planning to employ. So tell me... Tell me how... Uh, and what you, what you're going after, and how you're planning on getting it. I have an idea. Um, something that's 
familiar to the town because it was uh it was you know banished long time ago or some time ago <laughs> because it mm. was causing some problems so when people see it they would instantly you know recognize or you know or, or at least get the idea that, that oh wait this might be that that one thing that we were scared of hmm and i i think it should be alluring and sinister <laughs> <laughs> awesome. I love it. And maybe Stranger Dania Freaky. Approves. <laughs> Dania approves. Um cool. Yeah. Where where do you find something like that? I mean it was banished, right? So it's it's probably Is uh, it is it in a lost quarter or is it all the way out in the Deathlands? It's it's all the way out in the Deathlands for sure. Okay. Tell me tell me what it looks like when you guys find it. I mean, I imagine it's it's mm. find itself a hiding place somewhere. I'm not sure whether that's a hut or maybe a cave or just a clearing in a forest. I don't know if somebody has a, has a, has an idea there. Um, and I imagine it's a shapeshifter. Ooh, that's how it can be alluring and sinister because it can you know take on alluring and sinister shapes. Mm. How would people recognize it then? Because it's shapeshifter. Uh, I mean, we could do the the black tom thing and say it has golden eyes. Hmm. I mean, or it, it just might, has it a, a specific miasma about it. Yeah. <laughs> so that just like then... Farouk. <laughs> <laughs> no, no, no. It's uh, what's it? Character's name. It's Zig that has an actual miasma around him. Yeah. True. True. <laughs> okay. Okay. But yeah, maybe maybe it's it's there's just a tell in some way. Okay, yeah, it's got a tell of of uh, like solid golden eyes that cannot change no matter what shape it takes. No, uh, no pupil and no iris. Sounds good. Okay. Um, beautiful. Uh. Write this stuff down, and so yeah, it's uh, it's hiding out in in an abandoned hut in the middle of the Deadlands. How did you guys get out here? Um. Well, it's difficult to Are get you... in. How hard is it to get out? <laughs> it's looked at very strangely. Um, you can probably manage it with a, a, a bribe less than a coin. You know, bribe sounds good. Not it's not gonna it's not gonna mechanically cost you a coin, but you just you know you bribe your way out with a few coins. Sounds good. We, we, we're not scared of being seen as strange. <laughs> that is true. Just pumping up that reputation. Um, yeah, so you guys make your way out to uh, this hut to find this shapeshifter with the solid gold eyes. And are, are you approaching on foot? Did you get some kind of like carriage or something? Like, and what is your loadout? So I'm, I'm like loaded out entirely. All right, heavy load. Gotcha. I, I'm, I'm, I'm gonna go like all the way. Like my, my goal is to make sure that everybody stays safe, and you know, I'm, mm -hmm. I'm I've got everything, basically. Cool. <laughs> I go with a normal load. Yeah, yeah, okay. me too. Okay. La Lan is prepared for war. Yes, of course. All right, if Len, anything um... comes up to us out there, if it's not already dead, <laughs> and even if it is, it, it's it's gonna die. Right, not already dead. Kill it, and if it is, I kill it again. <laughs> Brilliant. Okay. Um. <clears throat> so. I, I imagine it would be very funny if this, uh, you know, this this entity, this being already made peace with the fact that it's living there and it's 
just you know at peace now so we actually it actually but... doesn't want to go anywhere you know we <laughs> see it as, a, as this farmer just you know working the land well, and, and rocking that, the chair and just hold that for a devil's <laughs> bargain um <laughs> let's see how this engagement role goes first okay. and then we'll see so um, um. so yeah uh how, how do you how do you three approach um Tell me, tell me, set the scene. It's a hut. There's a an an old man with a with a wooden hoe filling a piddly garden uh, behind a broken fence. He looks up at you and he has solid gold eyes. Selene is being unusually bossy, like ordering for Rook and Leah to stay behind him. And just, you know, goes out not like not, you know, guns pointed at the guy, but, you know, hands, uh, you know, near his weapons to be able to, to quickly draw, uh, you know, in case something goes wrong. We're vigilant to, to any sound and anything that happens around. Um, and Would I... you have discussed a plan for, for action, or are we just going in there? I imagine we would have a plan. <laughs> I mean, do we try to first ask it to just peacefully come with us and I imagine that would make offer sense. it? Go ahead. And I, I yeah, I think Farouk will approach. Uh, he'll you know uh, won't get it in the way of uh, Lan uh, you know being in front and and uh, 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 be you know uh, offering himself uh, up to danger. Uh, but uh, Farouk won't be far behind, uh, and he'll uh, approach playing a, a, a flute uh, that uh, you know has a, this uh, strange sort of uh, you know arcane register to uh, try and uh, you know win this uh, uh, thing over and or soothe it. Okay. Um. Um, yeah, I, I didn't see anything under items that's like for uh, uh, budding up to to uh, spirits rather than like causing them to uh, you know avoid or uh, 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 or to be identified. But uh, if I can, you know, just uh, uh, go that direction anyway, that would be cool. If not, then. You know, it can Let just be me, color. Um, uh, I will allow your ghost key to be a, um, it, to be like a, a flute. Like, it's the description of it is a key that can, which can open ghost doors. And that key could potentially be, you know, the key of E could be song. Okay. <laughs> you know, let's let's, cool. let's do it. Nice. Um. Yeah. Uh, totally love it. Uh, that's gonna give you guys an extra die. So instead of one, you have two. Uh, would you like to be the one to roll this engagement? Uh, okay. Is it possible to help out here? No. I, I'm really. still not clear exactly on the rules, so I'm go just going to ask everything. <laughs> no, that's fine. <laughs> yeah, so with that's always good. Role, uh, it's based on your relative, like, relative to your faction, the faction that you're going up against, mm -hmm. and plus or minus any uh, fictional positioning or environmental factors. So, given the fact that you're going up against a much more powerful uh, faction, in this case, the Hive, even though the f this is this is kind of the first step of that, mm -hmm. it's still technically against them overall. Um, I see. And so, you would be getting only one die, um, potentially even zero dice. 
<laughs> um, but you're coming at them from an angle they don't expect. Um, which so so they are three levels above you, which means that you would go from they have. Uh, you are coming at them from an angle they don't expect. So that means that instead of their, uh, like, zero dice that you would have against them, you get some dice. Yep. Uh, plus uh, the fact that they are... Um, uh, you've got that fictional positioning of the of the flute. It gives you an additional die. So uh, I think actually I'm going to give you one more die because I was just thinking about that. Uh, the fact that that you're really coming at them from an obscure angle. Um, they're ill prepared for this kind of an attack, but they're much higher tier than you, so you would lose two dice there. Uh, so actually, go ahead and roll three dice total. I, w I was thinking if like, because I saw this uh, item in my in the slide list, uh, a spirit bane charm. Mm -hmm. um, I, I'm guessing you have a description, but I was thinking that you know, as Farouk is uh, you know doing the the flute thing, this this spirit bane charm would be something that the creature recognizes if I had it on me and it was visible. So that would you know um, give us an even well... better. <clears throat> It's not really a spirit per se. Uh -huh. So that that wouldn't really work. A spirit being charm is something that spirits or ghosts prefer to avoid. Uh -huh. Um so in this situation it wouldn't really give you a benefit. Okay. Uh and also here is the list of all the different items. You can look at more detailed descriptions oh, cool. of them. Cool. Um right. but yeah, so you get so three dice is a pretty good number. You want to go ahead and roll. If I maximize it. If I maximize it. It's black. Is that true for anyone else? Is that just mine? Um. Yeah. Hmm. Yeah, mine too. That's weird. Well, you can just zoom it from the top right. Yeah, I can. That's a good point. Uh, except that, that yeah, doesn't, doesn't make it any more clear. <laughs> yeah. Uh, uh, I'm guessing it's the row 20 server. Here, I can do it. I mean, do you have the, uh, do you have the PDF? Yeah. <laughs> it's on page 41 in the PDF, or I just sent you just that page. Okay. Anyway, uh, so yeah, go ahead and roll your fortune roll under, um, So this list of items, how about the items that are on the, uh, cutter playbook? So those should be listed under cutter items and well, also standard items. So the ones that are listed on the Cutter playbooks are the ones that you have access to. I see, I this see. This list is a slightly more detailed description of all of those items. The standard items are stuff that's common across all playbooks. And then there's a section there that says Cutter items that are your specific items to being a Cutter. I see. Rage Essence Vial, single dose of Rage Essence, which greatly enhances the user's strength, resistance to pain, and irrational aggression for a span of several minutes. Mm-hmm. Also, I love the uh, options of some Devil's Bargains that you might use when, in the, you know, including your items in something. Like, for example, you can take plus one die with your dagger in close to shank him repeatedly, but you will be absolutely covered in blood. <laughs> nice. Um, so yeah, uh, Farouk, you were going to roll the engagement, I believe? I can uh, yes, sure. Right. Sorry. Three, three dice. Okay. Uh, let's go ahead.
engagement. Uh, I may have done that wrong, but I'll just hit some in and see. Nice, and one of them is the sixth. Ooh, okay. Nice, nice. So yeah, um, as you as you approach, um, you know the uh, the old man straightens up his spine and slowly, um, uh, he he recognizes the look of a whisper and knows that you're definitely here for a reason. Um, and that you know, like, he knows that you know who he is. Kind of, you know, uh, he straightens up his spine, uh, and slowly the age, the age, the illusion of age melts away as he changes into uh, uh, a younger man. And he looks you in the eye and says, Why have you sought me out? Well, I, uh, just thought that a, uh, fine being such as yourself deserves, uh, uh, better and more appropriate digs than these. I mean, th th this place is fine, but, uh, you're, you're so far from the, the center of the action. I, I, I think that you deserve a, uh, more, uh, rarefied place. And we have the, the 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 perfect the perfect one for you. Yes, indeed. I it see. Seems that I was using the uh, microphone of my webcam instead of my headset. Aha. <laughs> uh, -huh. uh. So yeah. Um. With your um. With your ability um, to consort with, uh, now you do not have this this devil within your power, but you can certainly consort with him here. Uh, you're a friend to all weird demon things. Um, if you'd like, Farouk. Uh, sure. Um. Okay, and uh, so we were talking about a devil's bargain that uh, would, uh, well, okay, so if the devil's bargain was that it was, uh, it was a, a farmer that just wanted to stay in this, uh, its house anyway, then hmm. it seems like that would uh, counteract. directly counteract, yeah, uh, what we're going for here. Kind of would. I would. Um, uh, I, I think Lan, Lan is going to try and give a hand, though. Okay. Uh, he, he's now, just are gonna... you... Uh, uh, Leah added a little bit to this as well. Are you going to also speak up and add to this conversation and you want to do a group role of uh, consort here? I mean, Lan is just going to be like, yeah, I mean, you know, we, we don't want any trouble, you know, brandishing his, uh, his knives. So just kind of, like, threatening the guy, like, you know... Can do it the easy way or the hard way. Okay, yeah, you can take a stress to uh, uh, threaten a weird shapeshifter you don't understand. And uh, <laughs> give an extra die to Farouk, totally. And then I shall do that. Yeah. What can go wrong? Nothing, it's fine, um. don't worry about it. <laughs> uh, don't don't did worry. You want, did you want, did, 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 blah, 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 did you want to make this a group rule is what I'm trying to say, between Farouk and Leah? Um, I don't think that's a very good idea because I think if the, the chances of me failing is quite high, and Farouk will take a bunch of stress. Okay, so oh. Farouk, yeah, just go ahead and uh, roll it for yourself. You got uh... so we're at three right now. Uh, there's all, another. There's another type of uh, group action that you could take, Leah, if you want to do like a setup where you oh. are. 
you are doing this sway of like, here's how great the city is now, uh, in order to boost Farouk's um You could totally t- tell the character how many like how famous he is in the city. <laughs> <laughs> let, yeah. me, let me just yeah. check the how, how does it work mechanically if I uh, do the setup? Okay, so uh, mechanically, basically, you would roll a a different skill than what Farouk is going to be rolling, so Sway instead of Consort in this particular case, in order to uh, give a bonus to Farouk. Instead of a bonus die, what he will get is either a better position. Uh-huh. So right now you guys are risky going into this, um, and that could improve him to a controlled position where there's less risk of failure uh, or give him improved result. So not right now you guys are going to have a standard effect, but if you um, set him up, then he's going to have an ahan- a, a great effect mm-hmm. just by mm-hmm. default. Yeah, sure. Let's, let's, let's try to do this. Uh, I will, I will, uh, as has suggested, uh, say that uh, you you your your uh, your fame in the, your your fame in the town is you know unlike any other being's fame. And uh, mm. imagine the the vengeance you can take on everyone if you go back. We are happy to assist. Okay. And let me roll. Uh, it's risky, right? Yes, it is risky, and risky. you have you have a normal effect. Okay. I don't have any extras. Okay, five is standard effect. You do it, but there is a consequence. Uh, let's see. Maybe um... he starts with vengeance on me. <laughs> Uh, or maybe he's the less complication occurs, uh, and he like looks at you, and then changes, and he changes from this countenance of a young man into you, and now is a woman standing before you. It's like looking in a mirror if you had gold, solid gold eyes. Well, I have green glowing eyes, so it, I bet it looks like cool. that. Only not glowing. <laughs> <laughs> And, uh, yeah, she flicks her hip in a, um, sultry manner and listens to the rest of your proposal. Now, Farouk, has this, uh, uh, actually, this is Leah, Leah, uh, does this make the position, is this an indication that it's less risky and this is now a controlled situation, or is this an indication that... Rook will have an enhanced effect when he succeeds. Um, I, I I choose that, right? Yeah, or... you choose. Yeah, those are your two choices. Um, well, I, Brad, how likely is it, is it that you succeed? I mean, are you good or is it a long shot? Um... I, I've got a couple of dice in it already, and then I'm getting one from uh, Hasta, so it, it's likely to succeed. Then let's get the enhanced effect. And I, I was planning on doing a devil's bargain. Uh-huh. Cool. Uh, <laughs> okay. Yeah, uh, the, uh, this just gave me a, 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 a... I'm sorry, go ahead. I said yes, let's hear about this devil's bargain. Oh, okay. Uh, so, uh, yeah, it just gave me the, the idea that... Okay, so it's a shapeshifter. Uh, what if, uh, if it's, uh, if it does agree, it's still going to, uh, take, you know, in the process of driving out, uh, the hive member, uh, it's going to take on, uh, the shape of, uh, uh, Leah's shape or, 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 you know, uh, other members of, of the, the shroud, uh, thus giving the, uh, uh, the hive some information about uh, who's messing with them. <laughs> okay, so yeah, Damn. basically Evo. that that would be uh, adding heat to this for sure. Okay. Um, 
So yeah, yeah, totally. Okay. Um, I mean, I don't know that it's a, a wise devil's bargain to take, but it's interesting. Yeah. So let's do it. Fantastic. <laughs> so I'll go ahead and hand that heat on out to you right now. Um, and take an extra die. Okay. So you should have two two extras. You're still in a risky position, but you've got an, a great effect. And okay. two uh, extra dice. Two extra dice. So that is sweet. No way. Ooh. What? How many dice did you use? Oh. That was a four oh. dice. Oh, wow. shooty boot, shooty von broody. All right. Exactly. Things go badly. Yeah. You suffer yeah. harm. A complication occurs. <laughs> you end up in a desperate position. Um, I'm not going to make you lose this opportunity because it's much more interesting. This can get much more interesting. <laughs> uh, so she lightning quick whips up to you and um how long is Farouk's hair uh it isn't he's bald (laughs) he's got that tattoo though of of the laurel leaves and then in the back the uh uh the uh uh, septogram neat Okay. If any harm is going to come to Farouk, I would like to jump into the way and take it if possible. Okay. Yeah, because she's definitely... I'm just trying to figure out physically how she harms him. Um, I was going to have uh, her, her pull his hair, but he doesn't have any hair, so that's not going to work. If Lan jumps um, in the way, Lan has hair. <laughs> um, uh, I think he, she's going to go for... um, Like, just backhanding him across the face and um but Len is going to step in the way basically and and take that Mm -hmm. um yeah she's like quick as a striking snake just got right up in Farouk's face was going to like gonna backhand him and uh Lon you can you can either take that slap uh or you can roll to resist I think I'm going to roll to resist. <clears throat> he may be quick, but lands quicker. <laughs> Pretty quick. Uh, prowess? Yes, for sure. Definitely. Ouch. Okay, so you take two stress. And uh, basically, I think you, uh, like, she, she gets right up in there and she goes to backhand Farouk and you just grab her wrist and she turns her solid gold eyes onto you and says enough of this you come at me with petty lies you promise me bounties you cannot deliver I've been in that city and it has burned me So, if you'd like to continue down this tactic, it is desperate. desperate. Yes, <laughs> yes, we need some desperate rolls. Old XP. <laughs> like, uh, yeah, of course I want some XP. I mean, um, I, I was intimidating her before. Does intimidating her uh, yeah, again? Do you want to continue? Do you wanna... Go ahead. It's I, I'm just be... gonna like tr- like pull her like you know do the do the whole thing where you like force someone on a knee by bending their arm in a certain position i'm I'm gonna try and do that with her okay yeah totally and you uh you're still in a desperate position though because you can tell she is very she's very fast and probably stronger than she looks but uh totally take your desperate xp and uh roll me uh intimidate um command right is usually going to be command, yeah. Okay. Um, okay, I'd like to take a devil's bargain, if there is any. Hmm. Anyone have any suggestions for a devil's bargain here? I mean, I've been, I've been thinking this, this power that this creature has on me, it, it, it hasn't been progressing enough. <laughs> I, I think something should happen there. You know, maybe I'm borrowing some power of it just to, you know, mm. get her down on her knees. Oh, all right. Yeah. 
You want to borrow some power from from Ixis? I think so, yeah. Okay, yeah, let's give you a tick on that clock and the the same heavy feeling that you feel in the sanctuary. Uh, can, when... can my eyes turn black? Oh, yeah, totally. <laughs> yeah, that same heavy feeling that you feel in the sanctuary that gives you... Uh, allows you to command the masses and sway them to your cause uh, manifests from Lon as uh, as he twists her arm and um, what do you what do you tell her uh, as um, you intimidate her uh, I, I just tell her that you know she's not in a position to bargain mm. <laughs> um, yeah. I wonder if I should take some stress Well, you can only do one or the other, so you oh, guys I do the devil's do bargain. One or the other, so. so that's that's fine then. Sure. Command. This okay. is desperate. And uh, can I help or? Uh, oh, that would be nice. Set up oh, yeah. or something totally. like that. I mean, uh, okay. So, uh, uh, if if I want to actually be making a desperate roll myself. Uh, would that have to be set up, or is there... Uh... Yeah, that would okay. have to be set up. Okay. Uh, let me look at that. Uh... And obviously uh... you're going to choose improve the, uh, uh, improve the uh, situation, Perfect. so it's only risky, uh, <laughs> and then uh, Hasa doesn't get any XP. <laughs> uh, no, that would be rude. Uh, I, I'm going <laughs> to... Yeah, I'm going to aim for effect, uh, and I, I, guess I, 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 I guess I'm just going to uh, uh, try to get a, a, a clearer view of the spirit, try and understand it some, uh, you know, attune myself uh, so that uh, her uh, threat can be more effective. Does that seem like a okay. reasonable way to go about that? Sure, okay. sure, sure. Okay. Uh, and I guess I'm not going to take a devil's bargain on top of uh, hers. <laughs> Everything else? Uh, but I mean, you could. Yeah, you could. If you wanted to. Uh, I'll push myself, though. Uh, okay. Uh, I think that your... Um, I think you're susceptible to influence is... No, I don't feel like it's in play here either. Not, okay. Yeah. I, think, I was thinking it would, but it's. I don't think it's gonna... Okay. You're... Only one person can help, right? You're safe. Yeah, uh, only no, one you, person. You can help me with a... Oh, uh, yeah, dice. because... Uh, if you he's yeah, I'm just doing setup. setup. By Not also helping. being intimidating in some way? or Or, like, backing up the claim that Lon is badass? Um, then, then you can take one stress to give Lon an extra die because this is a setup. Yeah. So you could still do that, and the extra dice would be useful because I only have two dice, which seems like fairly risky for a desperate action. <laughs> <laughs> Pretty well, risky. Well, let's go with uh, uh, Leah. Will uh, you know? The, she thinks that yellow eyes also look, you know. Uh, good on her and she's you know always already getting jealous of how good this woman looks mm. so she would uh... <laughs> <laughs> she, right? she, she would okay. uh... sorry what yeah no i was just agreeing it's great <laughs> she would just uh run along land and try to grab uh other leah by the hair and you know just just pull her her hair so she she, she wouldn't uh, basically okay. disabling her somehow, you know. Yeah. All right. Well, where's Farouk's role at? Okay. So uh, the effect uh, the effect would be standard on mine. I know it's risky. What? Or, or I mean, desperate. Again? I'm I'm sorry. I <laughs> there was oh. a lot of stuff that happened in between. Yeah. I already sure. Forgot. So I was uh, a tuning is set up for uh, their uh, command. Right. 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 Um, I think it's actually going to be reduced effect because your weird demon pregnancy is messing with your chi. 
Okay. <laughs> <laughs> That's right. I was gonna. I was talking about your both of your conditions, and I only got through one of them, and that got sidetracked. Okay. Okay. Cool. Okay. So I am, but I am taking one extra die for pushing myself. And here goes. Ha! Yeah. Nice. There you go. Ooh. Six. Did it. No problem. Yeah, your your attunement definitely is going to boost the effectiveness of this threat that Lon is making with Leah's help. Um, so that's uh, three dice on your command. Uh, risky, but to great effect. Or, sorry, desperate, but to great effect. <laughs> <laughs> Okay, so I get one extra dice from my uh, Devil's Bargain and one extra from Leah, right? Correct. Okay. Okay, four. Oh. That is a success. Ish. But <laughs> there yeah. is a consequence. <laughs> um, so was your intent here just to get her to just come with you guys? Yeah. Be like... Okay. Yeah, okay. Um, you do it, but there is a consequence. Um, so it's reduced effect. Um, so from great effect down to just standard effect. Okay. Um, <laughs> and uh, you also suffer harm. Um, basically, she's going to uh she's going to whip around and change into a uh a burly man uh to gain extra muscle as basically she like whips her hand into Leah who's holding her hair and knees Lon in the groin as she manages to stand up from the crouch you put her in Ouch. um basically she as a shapeshifter like she, you're you're like bending her elbow the wrong way, and mm -hmm. basically it as it changes, it just keeps bending, and now that's the right way. <laughs> um, nice. So, yeah. right, may, may I make a suggestion? Uh, I don't know if that could be an interesting alternative to harm, but it, it seems like an interesting alternative might be that she comes along, but you know when she arrives, she does whatever the hell she wants, and she's not planning <laughs> on leaving that cafe. Oh no, that's 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 part of it too. I'm not <laughs> okay, okay, cool. She's still she's still going to hurt you, uh, in response to you physically holding her Makes down. Sense. <laughs> uh, got some pride. Um, like, uh, they're just known as gold eyes. They don't have a proper name. Um, or maybe that is a proper name. Who even knows? But yeah, Gold Eyes agrees to go with you. But you are both going to suffer a uh, level two harm. Um, uh, Leah with a, a broken arm, and uh, Lon Ouch. with a yeah, uh, Lon with some uh knee to groin <laughs> harm. <laughs> Need to go uh, you're welcome. Self-explanatory. <laughs> yeah, you're welcome to resist that if you would like. I would like to resist um, that. Both of those are definitely very physical in nature. You'd be rolling uh, prowess. Um, resist. If we resist, uh, we subtract the. Nice. Oh wow! Our roll from six, and that's how much stress we take, right? By Correct. the way, for the desperate reaction, it does it... should I have noticed put a point in prowess straight away back then? Uh, yeah, so you, you okay. put uh, one up on the number next to prowess. Um, so How is that a zero? Because she rolled she a six. Rolled a six. I oh, I see. And it, oh, it just counts the amount of stress yeah. that you, you're taking. Okay, cool. Yeah. yeah. So if you, if you hit the button next to, next to prowess, it will... <laughs> um, and you, uh, Hazza, because what you did was command, you actually gain your XP in resolve, because... Okay. Wait, that wait. That makes sense. There we go. When do we mark XP? 
when you do when you desperate roll action. for a desperate oh. action, which you, you get have uh, XP not done. In, inside that category. Hmm. But don't we do the XP at the end of the session? There's also then XP two. you get at the end of the session. Okay. Yes. Well, I won't. I won't resist it. I will have a broken arm. Let's see what happens. Okay. <laughs> you got a broken arm. No, I failed my <laughs> task. Uh, everything you do from here until you can get that healed is going to cost you one die. Wait, everything? right now, uh, right now it's not even set. Um, you you can. Every, you are in vast amounts of pain, and if you're going to try to lie your way out of something, you're sweating heavily and you look pale, and people aren't going to really trust you. Um, Wait a second. I'll try to resist it. Yeah. yeah. Okay. <laughs> I mean, you'll succeed in resisting it, but but yeah, here's yeah, the yeah. thing: if you roll, if you roll a one, uh, a one, you're going to take a trauma and just be completely out of this and unable to do anything. Fair enough. <laughs> okay. One and six. It's a risk. Oh, yeah. uh, wait, there's one other thing. Before you roll this, you have not yet declared any equipment you have with you. Oh, right. If you would like one of those pieces of equipment to be armor. Damn it. I keep forgetting about armor. <laughs> I, I apologize. I keep forgetting about armor, too. I, I totally looked at it before, and I was like, oh, I could take armor, and then I could <laughs> also take heavy armor. Cool. Yeah, and then so, I was uh, resisting, and I just took this about box it. and just have armor and say, you know, she slammed into my arm, but my armor prevented it from from breaking, uh -huh. um, deflecting the blow. Uh, we can do that. Yeah, definitely. <laughs> <laughs> that sounds great. So uh, go back over to the other page and mark down one of your items that you have on you is armor. Uh huh. Yes, Kitty, you're adorable, I know. Yeah, I, I didn't really think about items because I couldn't open the item thing and I just said, okay, fuck that. <laughs> and I don't have the PDF yet, so I couldn't be bothered to do it now. Hmm. Uh, yeah, and you can also look at your character, the, the playbook for yep. your character, and it should have items listed there also. Uh -huh. Anyway, um, brilliant. Uh, yes, so Gold Eyes agrees to go with you. Um, Long last. Yeah. 